This video will help students to navigate and access assignments posted in the GradeCam student portal. Students may log into their account using a web browser to access the website app.gradecam.com forward slash student login. Or they may use the GradeCam app and selecting the option to sign in as a student. When logging into the website or mobile app, there are three options. Students may log in using their first and last name and login code provided by the teacher and select login. If the students have a Google account, they may enter their first and last name along with the provided login code, then continue with Google in order to authenticate the account. After the first login with Google, students may use the Google button for future logins. If the student has a Clever account, select the Continue with Clever button. No names or login code will be needed, but students will need to scan their Clever badge or find their school for the first time login. After logging in, the student will see the portal dashboard, which contains current and upcoming assignment information. The Due Soon section shows all assignments that are due within the current week and the next week. The Recently Turned In section contains all assignments that have been submitted within the current and previous weeks. Both lists allow for students to search by selecting the search glass in the corner. This will only search those assignments listed in these sections. To search all assignments for a class, navigate to the specific class. Listed in the sidebar are the classes that are associated with that student as a part of a school account. To navigate to a class to see all assignments associated with that class, select the specific class from the list. In the lower left corner is the Log Out button. Students will be auto-logged out after 30 minutes of no activity. An inactivity warning will display at 2 minutes before auto-logout. Select a specific class from the left sidebar for more assignments for that class. The Available tab displays all assignments that are currently available for submission in that class. The list is sorted by closest due date. If assignments are due within the week, these are sectioned under This Week. Assignments that are due further out are under Upcoming. If an assignment does not have a due date, it will be listed in the bottom of the Available Assignment list. In order to quickly locate an assignment, the search glass is handy. Begin typing the assignment name in the search bar to filter the list of assignments for that class. The Turned In tab shows all assignments that have been submitted by the student and are available for review. Both digital submissions and paper scans will be displayed if the teacher has turned on the review access for the specific students. Assignments are sorted by the date and time of submission. To search Turned In assignments for the class, select and enter the assignment name in the search bar. If unable to locate a submitted assignment, the teacher may have chosen to not make the assignment visible in the Turned In section. View performance over time on the line graph in the Turned In tab. The graph will only chart those assignments that the teacher has set to display the graded scores. To begin an assignment, locate the assignment in the Do Soon section from the dashboard or in the Available Assignment section for the specific class. Select the assignment to open. Select Start Assignment to begin. In the Assignment window, additional information is located at the top showing the assignment title, total points, due date, number of questions, number of attachments, and the assigned class. In the left sidebar, there are options to leave the assignment and to turn in the assignment. If you leave the assignment, current progress will be saved but not submitted. If you turn in the assignment, it will be submitted for grading. The progress bar indicates the number of questions. As corresponding questions are completed, the box will display as colored. Use the progress indicator to double check that a response has been given for each question. The answers are submitted in the response section. Select the bubbles for the responses for multiple choice or fill in text responses for short answer and extended response questions. Attachments will display to the right if they have been included for the assignment within the student portal. Use the assignment controls to make adjustments as needed, such as enlarge, reduce, and rotate. If there are multiple pages for the attachment, use the arrows to navigate between pages. Use the full screen button to show attachments in full screen and the collapse arrows to hide the attachment. If multiple attachments are available, 
you select the attachment title to switch between the documents. After you have completed the assignment, select the Turn In button below the responses or in the left sidebar. If there are any unanswered questions, a message will show as a reminder. Select Cancel to return to the assignment and complete the questions, or Turn In to submit the assignment for grading. Once the assignment is turned in, the student will not be allowed to resubmit or change responses. After the assignment has been submitted, the review window will display the results depending on the options set by the teacher. The score will display with responses that are immediately graded if that has been selected by the teacher. However, if there are questions such as extended responses, these need to be reviewed by the teacher and you may see a message that the final score is pending. The question indicator will display red for missed questions if that option has been turned on. The missed questions will also be highlighted in red in the response section. The teacher may also choose to display the correct responses. Select Exit to leave the assignment review and return to the dashboard or the class window. If the teacher has set the assignment to not allow review of the submission, you will be automatically redirected to the dashboard or class after the assignment has been turned in. To review a previously submitted assignment, select the assignment from the turned in list for the class. This will open the assignment review window for that assignment. If the teacher has provided specific feedback for a response on the assignment, a speech bubble will be visible on the question progress bar. The feedback is listed below the question in the teacher feedback area. This concludes the video for students on getting started with navigating and accessing assignments in the GradeCam Student Portal.